Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Um, what I'm doing today is a trunnion upgrade on an LS so um, I thought I might just make a video um, run you through how easy it actually is to do for anyone that hasn't done it or needs to but maybe thinks it's a bit of a hard job. So here I've got a LS1 um, as you can see there it still has the factory style trunnion so what I'm going to do is pull them out um, if we come over to the bench here we've got the comp cams kit here ready to go so um, this is basically as it comes information sheet instructions um, these are still the roller needle type so you can get a bush type um, I, I mean I, the bush type are more expensive um, I've never really used them I haven't had any dramas with this style before so um, each to their own you know some some people still say that well they're still a needle roller so they could still come out and go through your engine um, I guess that is somewhat true but the the way these are designed is so they can't come out so I'll uh, pull the factory rockers off and we will compare them um, come to the snap rings allen head bolts um, to replace the factory bolts and then these two washers which you use for the installation so that's what comes in the kit um, these kits do suit uh, LS1, 2, 3, L98, L77 all the variants um, the only difference is the rockers themselves so if you come over to my engine here this is an L98 so looking at the rockers there you'll notice you've got an offset so it's not dead straight next one's straight next one's offset so that's the difference in the rockers um, but the trunnion part is identical so there's no difference whatsoever so what we'll do to start with is we will pull these rockers out okay guys so we'll crack these all undone and then we'll swap over to the battery ratchet to get them fully off all right now that they're all undone what i like to do is just grab the rail at each end and pull them out all together and we'll take them over to the bench so just a quick comparison while I do have on bench, you can see LS1, they, all the rockers are straight. Where I was saying before that the, your rectangle port um, head, like your LS3, L98, everything like that, they do have the offset rockers. So what we'll do is we'll pull one of these out. Um, like I said, they come with new bolts. Um, the factory style bolt are an 8mm head these are quite prone to rounding off so I always use a single hex socket um, and every now and then if you're not quite on there 100% right I have rounded them off before um, and they do become a pain so I believe that's why they give you a, a new style bolt um, this particular kit comes with an allen head um, my kit that I fitted to mine was a Brian Tooley kit and that comes with a 12 point um, like an ARP style bolt there so what we'll do um, is show you the factory style so you can see um, you're limited obviously as you change your camshafts and something with you know a bit more lift um, you can get away with it for quite a while but yeah if you start going pretty radical you can see you're going to run out of motion there also the fact that these little caps on the ends are just a press fit and there's nothing to stop them from working their way out so um, you know high rpm and stuff they have been known to work the, their way out and then you're stuck with needle uh, roller bearings all throughout the engine so All right, so we've got our trunnion here, we've got a flat side, you see there, and a knot. So I use a 22 mil socket on the flat, a 13 mil to push it through. Now you can use a vise 
Um, you can use a press. I've done it with both. The press probably is a little bit easier because it's a little less fiddly, um, but I find the vice works just as well. And once you get into the rhythm of things, it's pretty straightforward. So what we want to do here, set that up. Get some preload on there to hold it. Make sure everything's lined up. As you start to wind, you see that pressing through. I'll pop you guys back down so I don't drop it. Put my hand underneath, presses through, the sockets out the way. And there you can see old trunnion out and you've got your shell of the rocker so I'm going to go through and do that to all eight for this side and then we'll come back and show you the installation. Okay now we've got all our empty rockers. I'm going to start grabbing out your new <clears throat> trunnions and pull them apart. If you have a look on the bearings here I've got them opposite ways. One has riding, one side has riding, the other side does not. So the one with the riding, if I flip that over, you see there's nothing, and that one's the same, vice versa. Now the letters or the riding must go on the outside. So this is where your two washers are going to come in handy to start with. What we do, you're going to grab your flat side and your bear and your letter outside I'm gonna sit that there you're gonna wind the press all the way in and just put that in flush so as so you can see that's in pretty much flush and like I said crucial that your lettering or writing is on the outside now what we're going to do is you're going to grab your trunnion, you're going to slide that through so it's proud. This is where your washers come in, so that washer fits over that section. Now we're going to press in the other side, so sit that over. Grab your washer. So I don't to see. Sit that over. Grab your washer, and then we're going to come back to the to the vice. Now this bit obviously would be easier in a press because you can set it all up straight. I would do my best to show you guys this as I'm doing it. Hold some pressure against the backside. Wind it in. And then you're just going to make sure that your washer is central. And then you're going to wind that in. If it, if it feels any restriction, you're probably not central. So back off and just try to centralise your washer again. It should go together very easily. Do that in. Back it off. Now you see you should be able to spin that freely. See how freely that spins and you'll see you've got two little exposed slots and that is where you come over to this side again ready your circlip now this is really you meant to use circlip pliers for this but I don't have any here at the moment so Going in, do the same on the other side. And done. So now we can see looking at that, it's uh, those caps and needle rollers are captive. They have to come past a circlip. And you can see now we've got the full rotation. Don't have the limitation of the caps on the side, so 
that's it it's as simple as that so we'll go through now and do all the rest of them and then we'll get back to putting them on the car all right so we've put them back in the rail and we're ready to go back on the car I just thought quickly before i do that um the only real differences i can notice between the comp cams uh kit which i've fitted now and the brian tooley kit that i fitted to my engine um obviously the bolts like i pointed out before allen head versus 12 point i mean i don't know they both are an improvement over standard, so whatever with them. Um, but something that I did notice is on the left there is the Brian Tooley, and on the right is the Comp Cam. So the uh, circlip, snap ring, C clip, whatever you want to call it, um, is quite a bit smaller versus the more sort of fat, heavy duty version on the Brian Tooley. Um, apart from that, the centers and bearings and everything have the same writing on them. So I believe that's pretty much the only difference. Uh, so we'll chuck these back in. So just go along and start them all by hand. And what you're going to need now with this particular kit is a 6mm uh, Allen key. So chuck that on there. Now all I like to do is just hold them central as I tighten them. So I'll go over them by hand and talk them up and then pop your rocket cover back on as, and it's as simple as that guys, job done. So I know that may seem pretty straightforward but I thought while I was out here doing it uh, I'd make a little video and if it helps anyone, awesome. Um, cool, alright, thank you for watching guys and we'll see you next time. Cheers.